Welcome to OneSource Standard Procedure 01100 Fire Prevention Plan Employee Education. Fire Prevention Plan. The purpose of this fire prevention plan is to eliminate the causes of fire, present, prevent loss of life and property by fire, and to comply with the Occupational Safety and Health Administration standard on fire prevention. It provides employees with information and guidelines that will assist them in recognizing, reporting, and controlling fire hazards. OSBT will evacuate to the west side of the building and assemble under the covered parking area. Do not return to the building until the fire department and your building manager gives the all clear. Emergency numbers 911 OSBT safety manager 832-782-6190 or 832-782-6169. PMRG Building Fire Safety Director, 713-442-1199. If you smell smoke or see fire, call 911 and give the name and address of the property and location of the fire. Know where the fire extinguishers, pool stations, stairwells, and exits are located. Small fires, such as a fire in a trash can, may be put out with a fire extinguisher. Never attempt to put out any sort of electrical fire with water. Only a dry chemical or CO2 fire extinguisher should be used on electrical fires. Do not attempt to fight a spreading fire. Focus your efforts on evacuation and helping others evacuate. Know the location of the nearest fire exits. You should be able to find them in the dark. If you cannot exit, seal off the cracks around your office doors, go to a window and signal for help. If there is smoke, stay low. Crawl on the ground and take short breaths until you reach an exit or stairwell. If the exit door feels cool, proceed to evacuate. Information to be given to the fire department. 1. Address and floor of fire. 8300 FM 1960 West. Floor number. Number 2. What is on fire? Number 3. Type of occupancy. Four-story commercial office building. Number 4. Telephone number you are calling from. Do not hang up until the dispatcher hangs up. Types of hazards, electrical fire hazards, portable heaters, office fires, flammable and combustible materials, smoking. In case of a fire alarm, please exit the building via the nearest fire exit stairs and stand by for further instructions. Electrical fire hazards. To prevent electrical fires, employees shall make sure that worn wires are replaced. Use only appropriately rated fuses. Never use extension cords as substitutes for wiring improvements. Use only approved extension cords, i.e. those with the Underwriters Laboratory UL or Factory Mutual FM label. Check wiring in hazardous locations where the risk of fire is especially high. Check electrical equipment to ensure that it is either properly grounded or double insulated. Ensure adequate spacing while performing maintenance.
portable heaters. All portable heaters are not allowed at OSBT. Office fire hazards. Avoid overloading circuits with office equipment. Turn off non-essential electrical equipment at the end of each workday. Keep storage areas clear of rubbish. Ensure that extension cords are not placed under carpets. Ensure that trash and paper set aside for recycling is not allowed to accumulate. Class A combustibles. These include common combustible materials, wood, paper, cloth, rubber, and plastics that can act as fuel and are found in non-specialized areas such as offices. To handle Class A combustible safely, dispose of waste daily. Keep trash in metal lined receptacles with tight fitting covers. Metal waste baskets that are emptied every day do not need to be covered. Keep work areas clean and free of fuel paths that could allow a fire to spread. Keep combustibles away from accidental ignition sources such as hot plates, soldering, irons, or other heat or spark producing devices. Store paper stock in metal cabinets. Store rags and metal bins with self-closing lids. Do not order excessive amounts of combustibles. Make frequent inspections to anticipate fires before they start. Class B combustibles. These include flammable and combustible liquids, oils, greases, tars, oil-based paints, and lacquers, flammable gases, and flammable aerosols. To handle Class B combustibles safely, use only approved pumps taking suction from the top to dispense liquids from tanks, drums, barrels, or similar containers, or use approved self-closing valves or faucets. Do not dispense Class B flammable liquids into containers unless the nozzle and container are electrically interconnected by contact or by a bonding wire. Either the tank or container must be grounded. Store, handle, and use Class B combustibles only in approved locations where vapors are prevented from reaching ignition sources such as heating or electric equipment, open flames, or mechanical or electric sparks. Do not use the flammable liquid as a cleaning agent inside a building. The only exception is in a closed machine approved for cleaning with flammable liquids. Do not use, handle, or store Class B combustibles near exits, stairs, or any other areas normally used as exits. Do not weld, cut, grind, or use unsafe electrical appliances or equipment near Class B combustibles. Do not generate heat, allow an open flame or smoke near Class B combustibles. Know the location of and how to use the nearest portable fire extinguisher rated for Class B fire. Smoking. Smoking is prohibited in OSBT building. Certain outdoor areas may also be designated as no smoking areas. The areas in which smoking is prohibited outdoors are identified by no smoking signs. Recognition of Potential Fire Hazards Supervisors shall train employees about the fire hazards associated with the specific materials and processes to which they are exposed and will maintain documentation of the training. Employees will receive this training at their initial assignment annually and when changes in work processes necessitate additional training.
HSSC management shall present basic fire prevention training to all employees upon employment and shall maintain documentation of the training, which includes review of 29 CFR 1910.38, including how it can be accessed, this fire prevention plan, including how it can be assessed, good housekeeping practices, proper response and notification in the event of a fire, instruction on the use of portable fire extinguishers as determined by company policy in the emergency action plan, and recognizing potential fire hazards. To limit the risk of fires, employees shall take the following precautions. Minimize the storage of combustible materials. Make sure that doors, hallways, stairs, and other exit routes are kept free of obstructions. Dispose of combustible waste in covered, airtight metal containers. Use and store flammable materials in well-ventilated areas away from ignition sources. Use only non-flammable cleaning products. Keep incompatible, for instance, chemically reactive substances away from each other. Perform hot work, for example, welding or working with an open flame or other ignition sources in controlled and well-ventilated areas. Keep equipment in good working order. For instance, inspect electrical wiring and appliances regularly and keep motors and machine tools free of dust and grease. Ensure that heating units are safeguarded. Report all gas leaks immediately. Repair and clean up flammable liquid leaks immediately. Keep work areas free of dust, lint, sawdust, scraps, and similar material. Do not rely on extension cords if wiring improvements are needed, and take care not to overload circuits with multiple pieces of equipment. Ensure that required hot work permits are obtained. Turn off electrical equipment when not in use. Leave a clearance of 18 inches to 24 inches around fire sprinkler. Do not store material within two feet of a sprinkler. Important things to know when the building is in alarm. Do not use the elevator. Stair stairwells are your lifeline. Elevators are out of service because they can be filled with smoke. They become inoperable and the fire department needs to use the elevators. When the fire department arrives, they are in charge. The roof is not an approved exit. The most critical areas for immediate evacuation are the fire floor, one floor above it, and one floor below it. Smoke is the number one problem in any fire. It can deplete the air of valuable oxygen and contaminate the air with toxic materials. If cotton smoke, take slow, easy breaths, breathe through your nose, and crawl along the wall to escape. Touch all doors with your hand before opening. If it's hot, do not open. Seek another exit. Opening or breaking windows fuels a fire with more oxygen. Do not open or break any windows during a fire. When evacuating by stairwell, move to the center of the stairwell to avoid being hit by exit doors and to allow firemen to pass. Ladies, take off high heels. Gentlemen, loosen ties and shirt collars. The designated emergency relocation area, the west side of the building under the covered parking area. Fire prevention tips. Keep all trash or waster material in fireproof trash receptacles and empty them frequently so waste does not accumulate. Do not empty ashtrays or throw cigarettes into waste receptacles containing flammable materials or onto carpets in elevators or suite areas. 
Limit smoking to designated areas equipped with appropriate receptacles in which to dispose of cigarette waste. Keep all trash cans away from drapes or other flammable window coverings. If a fire does ignite in a trash receptacle and no water is nearby, turn an empty trash can over the fire. This will smother the fire. Turn off all electrical appliances and kitchen areas and all computers, copying machines, and other business machines at the close of each business day. Do not overload electrical circuits. Check all electrical cords for fraying to prevent a spark that might ignite a flammable item. Do not store cardboard boxes, packing materials, or other flammable items in common areas or stairwells. Aside from the possibility that they might catch on fire, these items could also block your exit route in the event of a fire. Portable electric heaters. The Department of Energy's Rule and Regulations 490.15 Auxiliary Heater states, no auxiliary heating devices such as portable electric heaters, heat lamps, or other devices whose principal function at the time of operation is to produce space heating may be operated. Houston Fire Code prohibits the use of extension cords to power electrical equipment. Please take a moment to review the OSBT Fire Prevention Inspection Checklist. This concludes Fire Prevention Plan Training. Please copy and paste the test link into your browser and begin the quiz.